guys welcome back to my channel so today is a DIY day and I'm gonna show you how to make a gray washed farm finished metallic table so first I'm gonna show you what you need to do this project and essentially all you need is paint brushes uh, if your space is big I suggest that you get bigger paint brushes than this uh, I did a whole table and four chairs with um, like a medium sized paintbrush and a small paintbrush like this for the little group bits in the chairs. Um, you'll need some kind of gray wood stain. I use this, clearly I use this can because look at all the gray stain. This is in weathered gray. It doesn't matter what kind, I know Rust-Oleum uses, um, rust -Oleum makes one, this is not rust -Oleum, but I know that they make one as well, but I, this is the one that I chose. chose. And you'll need metallic silver wood paint and this is from Rustoleum. It is ultra cover premium metallic paint in metallic silver. So let me show you is the okay so this is the finished product of the DIY. So Today, I'm going to show you how to make these wonderful streaks in there. And here's a chair to show you the chair. So hold on, let me go set up, get my paints, and I'll be right back. So I am painting on a cardboard box because I don't have a piece of wood. But anyway, so basically, take your gray wood stain first, and you paint like normal. And I probably only paint this whole thing because you guys get the mess of the painting, right? Paint, paint, paint until you've covered your surface. And I'll probably speed this up. So, you get the gist. And then after you've covered your whole surface, you let it dry. So I'm going to go finish painting this cardboard box and then I will be back. As you can see... I've finished painting the whole thing. And so what you want to do, you want to take your paintbrush and your metallic paint. You want to get it almost as if there's nothing on it. You don't want anything on it. Hardly anything, not just really anything. And then you want to take it and you want to brush quickly over your surface. And it will start to blend in and that's okay. And then you just go back in and brush lightly over top. And if you feel like you've gotten too much metallic paint, you can always go back in with the wood gray stain. So I don't know if you can actually see it because of the light, so I'm gonna hold it up. That is the process, and this is the finish result. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that that DIY was helpful, and I really hope that you guys use it in the future.